what we're doing today is we're going to be putting my adult coloring in book skills to the test using the stained by sharpie pens these are fabric markers and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be coloring in if you guys come in i'm going to be coloring in all of this stitching so basically we've decided to do the gear stick that the stitching on the steering wheel is actually black picks up the color for like a second or two and when you wipe down it just takes the color back off just wanted to give you guys an update so this is two um lots of coloring in so i colored it in wiped it down colored it in again i don't know if it's gonna go well on this black stitching no it won't look it's already rejecting it can you see that look yeah it's already rejected it yeah so the black stitching i don't think we can do i've just got to wipe it off the level now so i've done a lot of research on different fabric pens and these seem to be the best don't wear your best clothes don't wear your going out clothes don't wear your stone island jeans or whatever you've got wear your clothes that you don't mind getting dirt on right, guys especially with the seats like this well most seats will be like this make sure you pull um any pieces that you need to to get in there just to make sure you get everywhere you never know what's going to happen to the lever over time so it's better just to do that now this side so up until like this middle part that's where it separates um this part is one coat or, or one round and this is two so like all of this piece and i can't actually tell the difference between one and two um, with these white stitches the color just goes in so nicely i took my time went through slowly you can see I've got a bit on the ISO fix, which is not a problem anyway. Uh, obviously be careful of that. But one pass seems to be fine as well. I mean, on camera and in person, I can't tell a difference. As long as you take your time, it seems to get everything anyway. Another tip for anyone watching uh, and doing this at home you can do quite a lot um, of stitches just in the same technique that I'm doing uh, before you actually need to wipe it the longer that you leave it um, the more time it has to soak into the fabric into the stitches oh I'm completely missing because I'm doing it through the camera but the only trade-off is that when you make smear marks like I did just there the longer it has to seep into your leather but that's why we use a damp cloth just wipe it it's not smeared the leather at all but we've given it enough time to soak in so you guys on the video have seen what I've done and what I haven't done Midge hasn't let's see your reaction oh, shit. turn the oh, light on poo -poo. Yeah. oh daddy oh this is coming out nice So as you guys can see, there's just like air bubbles in there, which means it's basically gone. Uh, you should see it full of ink all the way to the top. Three pens came, two of them are empty, one of them's got a little bit of ink left in it, but we did our thing and we coloured in the two front seats and oh my god, I can't wait for you guys to see this, look, just look. So these seats have come out a little bit pink compared to the rear seats and why is that? Because our bum bums are on the seats. And loads of other people's bum bums, previous owners. So with the rear stitching, because it's not used as much, it was white. These, uh, as you may have seen in the hyperlapse, these stitches were sort of grey, especially 
uh, like these ones you can see it's coming out more pink even on the camera these were grey because of all the dirt and grime and stuff just getting on it naturally yep, yep, yep. so they don't take the colour as well as the white stitches nope, nope. look at that you know what it's coming out a bit pink because of the light let's go over this side there you go that's that's the actual colour it is it's only because of the sunlight this side looks pink Oi, mate so we're gonna insert some before and after shots say no to OEM guys Whatever you do in life, say no to OEM. I'm really happy with the way things have come out. All the guides online were saying, wipe it quite quickly. Oh, we, we were doing a lot. As you saw in the hyperlapse, we were sort of doing like this row, then this row, then this row, then going back uh, and sort of wiping because the bits, you, I mean, you can see where I've wiped quick, quickly, like these ones have come out very pink because I wiped it quickly. All right, smaller one. So it's been quite a while since we did all the stitching, all the white stitching. I was just waiting for this pen to come, which is the Zig fabric color. Um, there is a twin uh, fabric color, which basically means it's got nibs on both sides. We're gonna use this to try and get the black stitching. Gear shifter, gear lever um, up here. It's kept a bit of the stitching from the Sharpie, but not much. So we're gonna give this a try. So this one's slightly different. You have to shake it seems to come out quite thick. I'm having to watch through the phone, so if I miss, don't judge me. Coming out a lot more pink than red. Just going very slowly because we don't have much to cover. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be applying as well. You can hear it sort of grinding on the stitches. Let me put the top on and wipe it. So again, very slightly damp cloth. Oh shit, that smears it a lot. Let me clean this up. Not impressed at all by that on the gear shifter. Um, I had to wipe enough to get it off the lever and it all just came out of the stitching. Let's try the steering wheel one more time. Maybe on this you have to be a lot more accurate than the Sharpie. Yeah, look, it smears it straight away. See? And to get enough off, you just pull it all out. It looks red-ish on the camera, but it's come out super pink. This is looking like a no-go on this fabric color. All right, guys, so it's been a while since uh, we did the original stitching, and rather than making an update video, I just thought I'd uh, just add this onto the end. So I've colored in the stitching. Um, it is coming out a bit better on camera than in real life. Um, you can see I, I still need to wipe away in between, like on the black leather, the bits that we don't want. But what I've done this time around is I let it soak in for about 15 minutes or 10 minutes. And then I just lightly dabbed it and wiped it with a dry cloth rather than damp cloth. And that seems to have uh, allowed the color to stick a lot better. But you can see like here, it's, it's got onto the lever a bit. So in a few hours, I'll come back and just wipe it with a wet cloth and it should be all good. So I thought, again, I'd add this on to the end. It's been about two months since we did the seats and the, the gear stick gator and things like that. And the colors actually stayed very well. One of my main things was I just wanted to make sure it's actually gonna stick. I have cleaned the leather seats a few days after we did this and it did stick fine. So for anyone who is watching this um, a few months down the line or a year or two down the line, if you want to know how um, sort of how the color is staying, then just drop a comment. Um, I'll check back on this video as much as I, I remember to over time, just to make sure that um, I'm giving you guys updates. So the rear seats came out very nice as you guys saw earlier. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.